Why did she look through the door and then freak out and leave? What's going on there, mate? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you, mate? It's the weekend. It's the weekend. Come on, everybody. <clears throat> anyway, mate. I'm hoping you have an epic one. It's warm outside and it's warm inside. Everywhere it's warm. And yes, I am in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking at a channel that you've probably heard of because the channel was epic. Like we always react to epic channels, mate. This one is called Goose Pimples. Make sure you go for the channel, subscribe, and do the thing. This video is called 10, 10 of them, right? That's not what it's called. It's called 10 Soul Shaking Ghost Videos Unbelievably Scary. See, see the check? Un unbelievably. <laughs> Anyway, without further ado, Dark Diddly Day, let's do this. Shh! Go on, Ghost Pimples! Oh, Jack! Number 10, The Others. The Others. Good film. Have you ever felt a shiver running down your spine when you get a glimpse of something strange out the corner of your eye? That's exactly what happened to the person who sent this video to our email a few weeks ago. Mm. At first, they thought it was just their mind playing tricks. Okay. But after reviewing the home CCTV footage, their hearts sank with the realisation that something bone-chilling was caught in their kitchen. Take a look. Right, okay, for, for, first of all... <laughs> first of all, what's that sound all about, mate? <laughs> What? The anonymous sender reported being downstairs watching TV when they briefly spotted something around the kitchen door area. That's when their phone went off with a notification from the camera app, showing oh. a silhouette of a person coming from that door and entering the kitchen. Oh my god! And floating through the bloody door, mate! Yet there was nobody else at home. Sure, it could be anyone. And we all know home security cameras- It could be anybody! You just appeared! In the middle of a screen! ...are famous for this ghostly effect, usually caused by slow shutter speed, digital noise reduction, and video compression. But what if there's something far more sinister? Oh, well, you just pissed on my flames then. Right, cheers. Right, uh, it's, it's fake. Move on. ...at play here. <laughs> what if this was actually a ghost caught on camera? Mm. Let us know what you think. What if, mate? What if? Look at you. Hey, being caught on camera, you little ghost bastard bitch. Huh? Look. Hmm. Let us know what you think in the comments. But who walks like that? Who? 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 Nobody. Nobody. Don't, don't walk. All right. Just go to the shops. What? You don't walk like that, mate. Unless you're a ghost. Number nine. Blackout from the other side. While working the night shift at a school in Idaho, this staff member noticed a bit- I don't know. <laughs> Idaho. <laughs> it was a weird moment on the CCTV cameras. Thinking it may have been an intruder, they jumped into action, only to freeze on the spot, staring terrified at the screen. Take a look at what they saw. Oh! Oh, look at you, huh? Oh, what? Oh, shit. It's going to be right up on the screen now, mate. It's going to be right up on the screen. Oh, my shit, mate. This is straight from a horror movie. That's definitely not someone staying after class. This could easily be mistaken for a spiderweb moving in front of the camera. A spiderweb that opens up a door. But how did multiple lights throughout the building Oh no, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...turn off and on at the exact same time? Bit of a big coincidence that, isn't it? Mmm, it As is. If the night shift didn't seem scary enough. Videos like this exist. Number eight. Mm -hmm, okay. Hey, we're quick firing through these, mate. Imagine working at a bar, closing it up and going home for the night, only to come back the next morning to see a right mess all over the floor for no apparent reason. What's going on? That's exactly what happened to Reddit user Best of Us. Thinking it might have been a break-in, he ran to security cameras, only to be left with more questions than answers. This is what was caught on camera that night. Hang on, what are we looking at here? What? What? Okay, so this is a bar. 
Is this the till? Okay. Also the key of a bottle. Wow! Yeah. I saw that! What in the fresh hell happened there? Thinking logically, that bottle must have had something inside it, or else it wouldn't be on the shelf, right? So the idea that it could have just been a draft doesn't apply here. According to the staff member, nobody was inside the building at that time of night. And, we and also, if you think about it, there was a bottle, right? And then the bottle in front of it. So if there was string, string, bam, yeah, string, yeah, then... It would have had to have gone around the front bottle, attached, and then pulled, and then gone around the other bottle. You know what I'm saying? We can see that no one touched the bottle either, yet mm. it seemed to be yanked to the floor. He'd noticed strange occurrences like this before, but brushed them off as they could all be quite easily explained. However, he kept coming up short whenever he tried to debunk this one after seeing the footage. Mm. Plus, he mentioned that the place has a very dark history behind it. Apparently, in the 80s, a It was built! On a graveyard. <laughs> Small family was found dead under mysterious circumstances inside the building. Alongside some rumoured- So it literally was built on a graveyard, mate. ...few people who took their own lives inside this place. It all adds up to make the atmosphere of this video extra creepy. Mm. Number seven, smoke, mirrors and debunkers. Here's a weird one. You may have seen these next clips making their rounds on other paranormal channels, like Depths of Despair. By opening the door, he has now welcomed it into the rest of the house. Love Depths of the Despair, mate. Depth. Or Mind Junkie. The rocking chair can yes. be seen rocking back and forth mysteriously all by itself. But what they failed to tell Another you classic, is that there's way more to these clips than meets the eye. Channel. I'm sure you, like us, want nothing but the truth though. So after finding this video on TikTok and spotting some pretty suspicious details, we spent hours deeply analysing their videos to understand what's really going on here. And boy, did we find the proof we needed to uncover this mystery. Let's start with the video that sparked our curiosity. Mm. At first, this seems like the usual paranormal video showing some yes. form of activity. Yes. But why did the person recording it stay so quiet? Quite unusual for a ghost video, isn't it? Yes. And why did he leave the room so slowly without yes. even trying to either- Hang on a second, and also you've got a massive- Room so Look. slowly. Maximum kinder surprise, please! Without even trying to either flee or go back to investigate the book. If a book moved on its own, right in front of you, surely you would at least jerk the camera away or- No, I would ramble it. Or react in some way, right? Mm. Of course, the fact that we couldn't even see any strings or signs of fakery other than his lack of reaction forced us to dig a little deeper. Mm. This is where the teddy bear just goes... Hey, Ben! How's it going? Wanna play Batman and Robin with me? <laughs> A teddy starts moving on its own, and yet again, you don't even say a single word. Seems a bit suspicious. With that, it was time to check their TikTok page, and mm. that is when we found this. We're guessing the other paranormal channels didn't see this statement when opening the page to download the videos, or did they? Well, surely they would have mentioned it while covering the story, right? Suppose it's time to analyse these videos even deeper then. Oh, this is the one, actually, I saw the little string. And I'll be honest, between you and me, I know that... Th I know that they don't know that I know that they know that it's fake. <laughs> okay? Because I saw their little video saying, Oh, Casper Sight reacted to me! Hey! And I was like, yeah, okay, well, great. <laughs> you, you made a fake video that a lot of people do. <laughs> You see this little bit of... Watch. Is this it here? No, no, there you go. See? There it is there. There it is. Ooh. This was the one when I said um, that, that they, 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 so they missed the shadow bastard in the middle of the... And it made so many comments about how can a shadow 
like it was the shadow of him taking the video and i was like no a shadow can't form in the middle of a room and all this sort of stuff what if the source of light is here and mm. this is next to the wall behind the drawer mm. how could the shadow appear in front of the drawer this is oh. a clear sign of software masking to hide whatever is opening the drawer mm. but wait there's more the string been noises coming from this door all morning i'll just sit here and record it for a minute I mean, it was good though. It was freaky. They've done it well. That's what it's all about, though. I don't, you know, like I said, I don't care. I don't care as long as it freaks me out, mate. Oh, see, it is looking freaky deaky. This is the bit when he pans, I think, left now. There, right? So th th this bit was people were like, Ben, that's a shadow. Um, and I thought, well, if it's a shadow, there have to be a big ass fucking light behind him, literally here on the wall, shining. And if it was that close, it would, the shadow would be so huge. And also it's in the middle of this fucking room here. It's in the middle of the bloody room. So that's why I was like, wh why is nobody picking out that massive fucking shadow bastard sitting in the middle of the bloody room, mate? At first, it's really hard to spot this one. But Casper's side finds it. But after going frame <laughs> by frame, there seems to be a jump cut here. Oh, I didn't Can you see, see the I... slight change in colours? Look at this wall and you'll see it better. Let's also take a Jesus minute to appreciate Christ. how fake this shadow looks. If you pay close attention, it jumps somehow, like it was poorly placed on top of the footage. Right, okay, okay. I, I didn't think it was clearly that fake, right? I mean, I didn't... At the time, I thought they'd be found a shadow bastard, do you know what I mean? I mean it fooled me a little bit, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it seems pretty obvious to us, but if it's still not that obvious to you, take a look at this clip. Hmm. The kid of surprise is gone? For fuck's sake. Did you spot that jump cut there? Like, if that happened, like, if that happened legit, I've not seen that one before. If that happened legit, and to top it all off, the fucking teddy on top of the chair as well, and for good fucking measure. <laughs> If you saw that in real life, you'd be like, oh my, like, that's it, that's it. We've we've just realised now that the paranormal is absolutely 100% real. That's it, mate. Tell all your friends, let's get a fucking party going on. You would just go, ooh, make sure my camera's in frame here. I'm sick of this shit now. <laughs> Why everyone is making such a big fuss about these videos in the paranormal community remains a mystery to us. That's why we started looking for this creator on other platforms. And that's when we found his YouTube channel. Well, it's not exactly like we spent hours searching it, to be <laughs> honest. It had the same exact handle as their TikTok page, Original Smith 489 But this shows that someone didn't do their homework, because that's when we found this. Oh, is this where they... Fake video, top right hand corner there. Oh! Oh, so he's gone in there, changed it. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. So he set it down on the table. Put the table, put the, put the chair up on the fucking... <laughs> but I think he's... No, the reason he's done that, he, he wanted to deliberately call people out for, like, you know... Saying basically how easy it is to fake stuff. That's why he's put on this. He's not trying to hide it. He's done that deliberately to prove like that. This is me exposing the paranormal type thing. 
Hence the snoring. All right, mate. Mate, you need to get your breathing sorted out because that's not good. If you're snoring at sleep, right, you're getting you're not getting very good quality sleep. You need to sort that shit out, mate. If you stop smoking, get some fucking exercise going on or something, all right? Sounds like the ghost at the beginning of the video. And now he's going to be like, oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so our first instinct was right and the mystery is solved. Fair play to this dude for his honesty though. Unfortunately, hours of research trying to figure out if a video is real or fake, more often than not, leads us to a dead end. But in this case, it's out there in plain sight for everyone to see. So we will not leave it up to you to decide. <laughs> Number six, sweet dreams. Some say the witching hour is not a great time to be awake. Mm. Over here, we call it stupid o'clock for a reason. But whether you believe in the paranormal or not, there's something incredibly eerie about the dark isolation of three in the morning. Mm. And this dude managed to capture exactly why that is on camera. It's snowing in there. Wakey, wakey! Time to get possessed! Oh! What the hell is that? What's that wiggling out of you, mate? Oh shit, that's a cat! Oh, whoa, whoa. Now we know what you're thinking. The light flickering might have been the cat messing around with the wires, and that is plausible. That's exactly what I was thinking. But the cat staring at the wall with all those orbs also going mental at the same time is creepy to say the least. Mm. But is it enough evidence to call it a paranormal experience? I mean, anyone could be off camera pulling a string on the painting. True. Pretty easily hidden by poor camera quality. String. But he kept string. his camera up and recorded some more footage. When he watched it back though, what was once a slight suspicion became a true abyss of torment just inside this guy's bedroom. Was that a rose? What a light sleeper. And the cat knows something isn't right. Yeah. But without being able to debunk it with proof, we'd love for you to let us know in the comments what you think about this one. Actual paranormal activity caught on camera, or a very clever TikToker being, um, a TikToker. Well, the thing is, like, let's not beat around the bush. We know that every single video out there could be fake. It's a bit like religion. You gotta have faith. Cause you gotta have faith, faith, faith. You gotta have faith. I could quite easily debunk every single fucking video that I see. Easily. Could I could not deep I could have my um I could have my thoughts, I should say. My my suggestions of how it could be fake. It could all be fake! Every single one of them, all of your favorite paranormal investigators that go out there could all be fake. It could be, but it might not. It might not. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we are here. Because at some point, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but sometime we will come across a real one and we may not even know it. All we'll say is, STRING! Let us know. <laughs> Number five. Screams Number from five! Beyond the grave. Imagine being fast asleep when suddenly you hear agonizing screams echoing throughout the house. But when you go to check, there's no one there. That's exactly what happened in this video uploaded by Figure Oh, mate, that would be bloody horrible. That would be horrible me hearing. <laughs> And nobody 
is there. Then take a look. Oh, oh God! Unfortunately, this seems to be a re-upload. Oh my god, my head, my head, what's going on? By somebody else, and we couldn't find the original source. But the comments were absolutely baffled. Some what, like why the father is just like, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> mentioned it could have been her daughter screaming. But why wouldn't she go to get help immediately if it really was her daughter? And why did her husband cover his face with the pillow? What about the baby in the crib? None of their business, it seems. What a weird video. Any idea what's going on here? What? Let us know your thoughts. But, but why did she look through the bloody door? Why did she look through the door and then freak out and leave? What's going on there, mate? There has to be... Can we... Can somebody get in contact with her, please? Number four. Pay your respects. Funeral parlours aren't exactly the cheeriest of places. There's usually a cold, stale chill in the air that makes you second guess your every move. But surely Maybe there's nothing in there with you, bit. right? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. What? What? The child. You're probably sitting there thinking, why have Goose Pimples shown me a video of a little boy mooching through a random room? And we can't blame you. But take a look at the way he vanishes into thin air right at the end. Yeah, it could have been shoddy camera quality, mm -hmm. but why would a young boy be completely alone and wandering through a funeral parlour at stupid o'clock? Oh, okay, yes. Yes. And I'm not being funny, but... Is it, is it just me? Or does he look extremely small for a child? In, look at the chair here, mate. Bearing in mind, that's further away as well. Like, how small is this child? Is this a mini child? No, he, I think he's just an You're average size child. Sitting there thinking, number three, in good company. <sighs> For most people, exploring an abandoned mental asylum sounds like a living, breathing nightmare. Mm. But the team over on Love to Investigate's YouTube channel can't get enough of that stuff. Check out the terrifying clip they caught while touring through something that looks like a whole horror movie set. Mate, right. yeah. What's that? Whoa. Uh, they like pink tiles, don't they? What's in our room? There's another... Well, yeah, you might. Room in here. Room in here. I don't like looking at I think I remember this one. Right I've seen it, but I don't remember, I mean. The bathroom again. I don't remember the... I don't remember the accent, you see. That's pretty cool, that is. Oh, fuck! I didn't see that one, mate! It smells like an hospital in this car, definitely. But it was a bloody ring, bitch, mate! Right at the end of the bloody hallway! You missed it, didn't you? I didn't <laughs> miss it. Who the hell do you think I am? Let's slow it down. Look at you! It looks like the bloody grudge staring at them. <sighs> the grudge, bitch. Only to run away when the camera lands on her. According to the team, they were exploring this asylum in broad daylight, and they weren't the only people in there. There was a group of younger boys occupying the space too, but it couldn't have been them in the yeah, crib, it wasn't, because mate. they were in a different part it wasn't. of the building. Yeah. The shaky nature of the camera always sets off alarm bells in paranormal videos, but the original poster already said that her camera skills weren't great because she was walking. But to be fair, have you ever tried filming without any stabilisation on the, on the camera? It's not great. And the most compelling thing is that the video was never meant to be a paranormal investigation. Oh. They just went to check it out and caught something that made their viewers jump out. Oh, out. mate, yeah, that is the grudge, bitch. Look at you with your Dr. Bloody Martins on, mate, eh? Their seats. Number two, imaginary friends. Number when two. this family checked their outdoor security footage, they found themselves replaying the same part for hours on end trying to figure out what the hell they saw sauntering across their front garden. Take a look. Wait. It's a bit hard to spot, but in the first few seconds you can see a translucent oh. humanoid figure running towards the house on the right side of the screen. What the hell? Camera quality could be a factor, but wh What the shit, mate? That's an effing ghost!
That's Mr. Invisible Man, mate. Going to flap his thing everywhere. Why was the figure not picked up properly when after that we can clearly see the cat running underneath the car? Number one. Number one. Runway. Some ghost videos are spooky, some are heartbreaking, and some are even... He's a fucking lucky man, isn't he? Look at him go, look. <laughs> he's, he's like... <laughs> and some are even downright twisted. But there's always room for some funny ones. Check out this video showing a ladder that seemingly grew some ghostly legs and started making a break for it. Go get in the car, ladder. <laughs> The thing is, why would a ghost be doing that? <laughs> Unless the ladder's possessed, okay, and it's got a mind of its own, why would a ghost be doing that? You just have to call! Just call! You don't need it's a ladder! It's working on its own. Any ideas on how to do this trick? Oh, there you go, mate. That was a whole mixture of emotions. Some freaky deaky stuff, some questionable stuff, and some debunking stuff. Look at you, huh? Look at us, mate. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And I hope you have an epic weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.